What's up? What's up? What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Daviana, founder and CEO of Remake to Makeup. Um, I'm sure y'all can see when you clicked on the video. This is my very first story time, and it's a real good story. Like, it happened out of nowhere, and I know it was nothing but God that brought me and this person together. So, let me take it back. I post my um, sewing room tour on my YouTube channel. I got a good feedback. Um, a lot of people was inboxing me, coming and liking and saying how they liked the video and liked my space. And this one particular lady um, come in and said that her daughter, is, her daughter is interested in sewing. And if I have any free time, can we meet up to show her, you know, the ropes and whatever, you know what I know. And I had coming back, and I was like, that's fine. I'm off this day. You can come. Just let me know what time you can come. She never got back with me. And when she when she uh, told me that, I was like, hey, I can give her this sewing machine that I have that I'm not using. It's just sitting right here. I'm, I'm more focused on another sewing machine that I like to work with, and I, I done neglected this other sewing machine. So I was like, when she come, I'm not going to tell her. I'm going to just let her come, and then I'm going to surprise her. So she ended up not coming. So I was like, okay, then, well, I'm going to just keep the sewing machine. Then God kept putting it heavy on my heart, you know, to give it away. I was going to do, a, a like, a Facebook giveaway, you know, follow this page and like this and tell me why you deserve this and da-da-da-da. I was going to do that, but I never got around to do it. Um, life happens. I guess I was busy. But then, that wasn't the way God wanted me to do that because he had another plan in works. And I'm glad that I didn't make that status because I really didn't want it to go into the wrong hands of the wrong person. And I wanted to use to somebody that really has a love for creating looks. So, weeks pass by, weeks pass by. It's just heavy on my heart. I want to give this away. I want to give this away. Looking on Facebook, you know, so, trying to see if anybody talking about how they want to get into sewing and da 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 so I've been busy with clients. Thank God. God has really been blessing my business. Like really has been blessing my business from alterations to remakes to custom wear. He really has been blessing my business these past few months. Like I'm ending 2019 with a banger and I'm so excited. I'm actually making this video waiting on a client to come. This is a busy day for me. I have a lot of stuff to do pertaining to my business. But God has really been blessing me, so I wanted to give back. This is the time to give. If you have a business or if you're able to give, this is the time to give. So, I was working on this um, birthday shoot, making outfits for this birthday shoot for this girl. And when she came to pick up her clothes, I usually don't, I don't mind when people bring people, but that is one of my policies, like come by yourself. But sometimes people don't have cars, so they got to ride with somebody. Um... One of their homegirls dropped them off, whatever. So, this night, uh, my client came with her friend. I didn't mind. So, my final feeding, I'm making sure everything fixed right. Everything is okay with my customer, with my client. That um, They like the look. They like the feel. They like the fit. They like everything. So, as I'm um, trying everything on my client, her friend asked me stuff like, Pertain. She was like, oh, are those darts? Oh, do you have Alexa in the waistband? Oh, what is that called? And she just kept asking me the question. I'm not thinking. I'm just, you know, I'm just answering her, answering her. Then, like, she asked me one question. That's what she asked me about the darts. So I think the darts was the last thing she asked me that made me ask her. She was like, are those darts? I was like, I said, you must so. And she was like... I used to in high school, you know, here in Louisiana, I'm pretty sure it, everywhere else, like, I think your 11th or 12th grade here, most high schools have a class that you have to take home ec, which you learn, like, the cooking stuff for, like, the first six weeks, and then the second six weeks, you go into the sewing. They teach you a little, the basics of sewing. I know me and her went to two different schools, and we both had that experience, and that's when we first found our love for sewing in our sewing class in high school. And she was telling me, like, yeah, I had took the class in high school, and I really liked it. She was like, I be making stuff, but I do it by hand. She was like, um, I'm planning on getting a sewing machine. So she was telling me that. I was like, girl, you can have the sewing machine over here. She was like, what? I said, yes. I said, I've been looking for somebody to give it to. I said, I've been really, 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 really looking for somebody to give this sewing machine to. And this ain't nothing but guy. This ain't nothing but guy, like. She was just here, you know, basically to see and kind of get a feel. Like, she was just looking around, like, so amazed how when I, like, I seen myself so much in her 
so much. She got so much drive, and she got. She was just telling me how she makes the. Oh, I'm getting chills right now because that ain't nothing but guy. Like for real, I'm getting chills. And she was uh, telling me all the stuff that she has made, but it's not as good because she doesn't have a sewing machine. And she was telling me how she went to the pawn shop one day and she seen a sewing machine. She asked them how much it was. And she told them, hold it, I'll be right back. I got to go get my money. She said when she came back, the sewing machine was gone. And she said something else that stuck with me. She said, that wasn't meant for me. She said, God had this planned out. God knew he was going to give me this sewing machine, so that's why he didn't let me spend my money on that other one. Y'all, me and her was just talking. I gave her the sewing machine. I gave her some thread. I gave her some of everything that I knew she would need it to start her business. And I was just letting her know, you know, Promote yourself. Post your work. She was like, I want to post my work, but I do it with my, you know, hand sewing. Hand sewing doesn't look as, you can hand sew real good. Some stuff you have to hand sew when dealing with sewing garments and stuff. You have to hand sew it. But she was just saying that she, it's, her work is not up to par if she would use a sewing machine. And I said, you get you some, um, no, she was saying, she said, like, I'm finna go get me some fabric. You know, that's how I was when I got my first sewing machine. Like, I was all into it, and I was telling her, don't go get the expensive fabric. Take your time. Get the cheap fabric, because you might, you know, just for mess-ups, and you won't have so much money that you done wasted and spent on stuff. And um, we was just talking. Um, I gave her some tips. I um, drew out her a pattern that I was given from a sewing teacher. Um, Clinique sewing class that I took. Uh, earlier this year and she gave us a body form to make a dress you can make a skirt you can make a top you can make pretty much anything with this form so I have some paint paper that you put on the ground when you're painting and I drew her the form out and I gave her measure tape I gave her pretty much pretty much one of everything that I have if I had two of it so if I had I, I have so many measure tapes so I gave her one that I never used I gave her some elastic I gave her some extra foots because I had some um a church member brought me probably like five sewing machines from a school. They wasn't, you really can't use them, but they had all the foots in them. So I gave her some of them for, and you could use them on any singer. I gave her some foots. I gave her some um, thread. What else did I give her? I gave her some extra bobbins so she could thread different colors. But yeah, me and her was just talking. And she was asking me how you do this and how you do that. And I really felt and I know that it was nobody but God that did that. He put that on my heart to give, but he had the right person that he wanted me to give it to at the right time. Like, it wasn't nothing for God. She didn't know that she was going to come here and get a sewing machine. And I most definitely didn't know my client was going to bring somebody that was actually remind me of myself in 2014. And actually, when I first got my sewing machine, it was given to me. My first sewing machine was given to me by a substitute in my high school. She seen that I, I talked about sewing a lot, and she seen that I like sewing, and she said that she has her late, uh, late mother-in-law sewing machine, and she would go home and ask her husband if I could have it. Next day, she brought me in my very first sewing machine, and I'm so mad that I was so young and dumb and foolish that I left my sewing machine in my first apartment y'all can go check out my first video my very first video and it will it kind of give you a detail about when i first started and why i stopped and when i came back but anyways i was just encouraging her and me and her had set up a date to where she's going to come over here she's going to bring her sewing machine and put it in the place where i have have her own little dish and i'm gonna teach her what i know i'm not the best i'm i i kind of put myself in advanced beginner, if you get what I'm saying. Like, I'm a beginner still because I stopped for some years and then I had kind of came back. It's still some stuff that I still have to learn. And it's some people, stuff that people been in this game for 10 years still have to learn. Like, you got to learn in everything. Every day you learn something new. So, me and her set up a date that we are going to come. She's going to come over here. She's going to have us some fabric, probably get us something to eat, chill. And um, we're going to make us something. Just something simple, probably a basic top and bottom, just so we can get a feel of everything in it. Then after she left, I got a call from my auntie asking me who uh, who was the lady that I did my sewing class with. 
Y'all, my client is here, so I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna come back when she leaves. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Um, my client just left. She's getting some um, bell bottoms pants made for her birthday. She's my coworker and she's been very supportive. Shout out to Unique Jackson. Y'all go check her out on Facebook show my girl some love. But uh, anyways, after the young lady left that I gave the sewing machine to, me and her had set up a date that we was going to meet, which was going to be in a couple days coming up. But um, I got a call. Like I said, I got a call from my uh, auntie. And she was asking me, you know, who was it that I did my sewing class with? And I was telling her, I was like, I was just over her house today. And she was telling me that she's not going to be able to do one until the summertime. Because this lady be booked. I mean, booked on book. She's very booked right now with prom getting prom orders started plus other stuff outside of prom so she's booked and she won't be able to do sewing class until the summertime when she kind of slow down so i was telling her then i was like i'll let y'all know whenever she posts about it and i said or you could just go follow her on facebook and whenever she posts about it y'all could see it and my auntie was like she started going to was like oh you made that outfit that you post on facebook today i had posted uh a, a purple dress that a, a girl named Ebony, beautiful girl Ebony, had uh, modeled in. I'm gonna show y'all a picture right here. Um, yes, that's the dress I made. It's remake to custom wear. Ebony, shout out to her. I'm gonna tag her Instagram name. Y'all gonna show her some love. And if you're looking for some models, please check her out because she's beautiful. She can wear anything, any look. She can most definitely nail it. But anyways, uh, she was like, yeah, I seen you post that. And then I had did another look that she liked. And she was like, why can't you just show her on your off days? And I was like, that's crazy because I just set up another date with somebody else about the same thing. So I was like, okay. At first, I was trying to fit uh, my cousin in with the young lady that I gave my sewing machine to. I was trying to fit her in. And um, they, the schedule that my cousin had wasn't working with the one that we had. Um, so I said, okay, we're going to pick another date. So we picked another date this Monday. All three of us, I made a group message that all three of us going to get together. I have enough space for another sewing machine. Or I'm going to be the teacher anyway, so I can move mine at this one area. And somebody can put theirs right here. And I have another desk that somebody else can be at. So I told them, um, this day we're going to come from what? What I said? Four to eight. It's going to be on a Sunday, so church will be over. We'll be rested up. And I think my cousin get off at 3.30, so she'll be able to get all her stuff together. So we're going to do that 4 to 8. And I'm just going to show them what I know. Within that time, help them make a basic top and a bottom that they can go out and wear. Um... I'm very excited about this. I was not planning on doing this. Like, this just came and fell right in my lap because it was nothing but God. He has the bigger picture. He knows what he wants me to do with this business. I don't know. I'm just going along with whatever he has set up for me. Um, so, I think I'm going to do a vlog on that day of uh, my first sewing class. It's actually not my first sewing class. I did a sewing class earlier this year with a young lady. Um... Here in my house. Oh, this. I did two sewing classes. I did a sewing class with this little program. This lady I had met asked me to do a little sewing class for this thing that she had. And then I had one of the young girls that was in that sewing classes. In that sewing class wanted to learn how to, you know, learn hands on. Because they only had like 20 minutes in the class. You know, like they go to this class. Then they go to this class. Then they go to this class. It's just It was just like a big workshop, I guess you can call it. And she wanted to um, learn more and be more hands-on. She wanted to make a bell, a pair of bell bottoms because that's what I made in the class. So she came and we did that. I went live on Facebook. I wonder if I still have that video. I don't know. But we went live on Facebook. She made her some bell bottom pants and she wore them. So this will be my third class and I'm very excited about it. Maybe we can keep it going for like a month or so. And at the end, they make something that they really want to get into. But I'm excited to see where God is going to take my business in 2020. This is only the beginning. I'm ending my year off with a banger. Like, I'm really thinking about it now. With orders, with um, students. <laughs> That's crazy. With students. But um, this is only beginning. 
I'm sorry that I don't post as much as I should and I want to post, but it's going to get better once I get all the equipment and I get more content and I get better at just working my camera and stuff. Uh, right now, I'm recording on the phone. I don't know if I said it again. I can't remember, but um, I got this shirt during the Black Friday sale from a local company. Um, they shipped it to me. I'm located in Monroe, Louisiana. Uh, when they shipped it to me, the uh, address was in Ruston. So I guess they are located in Ruston and they can ship anywhere. I'm going to post... Uh I'm going to post their um, Instagram or either their Facebook page right after this. Right after this. So, this is the end of the video. Tell y'all about the blessing that God had put in my heart to give. Um, you got to give in order to receive. But when you give, you can't look to receive. But... Yeah, that really made my heart warm and just thinking about it. She reminded me so much of myself and I'm going to stay on her. Stay on her because I know life will come. The devil will come and try to distract you and try to block you from your blessings and what God has for you. And that can prolong your time of getting your blessings. So I'm going to stay on her because I see so much potential in her. And she has a little boy, so she want to make him outfits. So when I was telling her here in Monroe, we have a lot of people that makes clothes, custom clothing, and it really doesn't be for boys, if you get what I'm saying. Like, all the custom clothing be for little girls, and it's a lot of people out here that has little boys and want custom outfits. So, I'm going to stay on her. Um, I'll be back with you guys. I love y'all. Thank y'all for the support. Thank y'all for believing in me, especially my clients for believing me with y'all vision with y'all money with y'all looks with y'all whole day just thank y'all for believing in me and seeing the potential in me this is going to be the end of the video don't forget to like comment and most definitely subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't already go follow me on facebook and instagram remake to makeup peace